This film is intended for healthcare professionals for sharing knowledge and training purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Greetings everyone. This is Dr. Sushrut Appaji Gowda from Vijaya Netralaya Eye Hospital Bangalore India. And in this video I want to talk about the importance of Purkinje images in cataract surgery. Now Purkinje images are reflections of objects from the structure of the eye they are also known as purkinje reflexes and are also known as purkinje sanson images the first purkinje image p1 is the reflection from the outer surface of the cornea the second purkinje image p2 is the reflection from inner surface of the cornea the second purkinje image is not as intense as the first purkinje image some authors also say that the second purkinje image is not that significant clinically the third purkinje image p3 is the reflection from the anterior surface of the lens uh, this can be the crystalline lens as well but it's more prominent on on the eye well usually this is the largest of purkinje images the fourth purkinje image p4 is the reflection from the inner or the posterior surface of the lens unlike all other images p4 is an inverted image you can see now before the insertion of the eye well we can easily see p1 and p2 which is very close to each other while p3 and p4 identification becomes easy after inserting the eye well you can see that now the inverted image of p1 is seen as p4 while a very large enlarged image of p1 is seen moving very fast and this is p3 p3 is the largest of the reflexes i'd like to thank two people for introducing extreme interest in me with regards to purkinje images in cataract surgery uh, number 1 i'd like to thank dr shri ganesh who stock on determining lens tilt using purkinje images uh, triggered this and number 2 dr uday devgan whose videos i watched continuously to get a better understanding of purkinje images lastly i thank all the people all the unsung heroes who have worked very hard on this topic now this is me going behind the eye hole and removing all the ovd in india we extensively use hpmc which is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose hpmc in my opinion has been a game changer as it's very easy to mass produce it's a very dispersive ovd and has made cataract surgery more affordable for both surgeons and patients alike getting back to our main topic did you notice something wrong with our purkinje images p3 and p4 are not seen when the eye is aligned or kept perpendicular to the microscope this is the left eye of the patient i am sitting at 180 degrees chasing steep axis and when patient looks away all three purkinje images align now that's a bad sign Ideally speaking when the eye is perfectly aligned to the light source all the purkinje images should be seen now i make a blunder here going in with an instrument when ovd is removed to check for lens tilt i quickly realize i inject ovd again and yes there it is the reason for improperly aligned purkinje images This is a mid dilated pupil the trailing haptic was not properly placed in the pack leading to a major lens tilt Now the lens was properly placed in the pack let's look at those purkinje images that looks good way better the eye looks to be aligned and perpendicular to the microscope and we can see all the purkinje images and that's a beautiful sign Applications of Purkinje images include the first and fourth Purkinje images are used to measure the position of the eye by some 
trackers in refractive surgery and by using fresnel's equation perkinje images are used by some scanners to assess the curvature and separation of the surfaces in the eye in corneal surgery perkinje projection of a ring can be used to control astigmatism now i hope this video was useful for you in understanding perkinje images and their significance in cataract surgery please do like share and subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make more such content for you i'll see you soon with more such content until then this is sushrut signing out